Greetings students of Strain University. This is the fall semester of 2020. Uh, I want to greet you virtually in this video and share with you some expectations for the next written assignment for our class, Business 313. As many of you have known, we are approaching the end of week two and meaning that uh, we are coming to an end in about one more day. So week three will start on Monday. And in week three, uh, you have busy work, meaning that you have the weekly discussion question to answer and um, respond to a peer's post. You have quiz number two, and you have your first written assignment, which is an outline of a business model. So, so far we have discussed about uh, many aspects of entrepreneurship. So throughout this course in Business 313, Introduction to Entrepreneurship, we will examine entrepreneurship. Uh, different types of entrepreneurs. We will analyze the stages in entrepreneurship process uh, that this objective has been discussed in week two, which is this week, uh, that uh, from the video that discusses about the different stages such as the idea stage, the development stage, the um, production stage, the trade stage. So the entrepreneurial process has different stages uh, that we have to go through in order to have uh, a successful business. We will focus on examining process of innovating and developing ideas and business opportunities. Uh, and then we will talk about many of the objectives here uh, analyze money sources for finding and managing funds, uh, determine the most effective communication process to present to business investors, analyze methods of ex exiting the venture, uh, use technology and information resources to research and issues uh, in uh, entrepreneurship, write clearly and concisely about entrepreneurship using proper writing mechanics, so these are our learning objectives that we will accomplish uh, by the end of this course. So as week two uh, come to an end, it is necessary that you stay focused in completing your weekly tasks. If not, you will be behind. So for this week, you have two discussing questions. Um, discussing question one and discussing question two. And then you have your first quiz. These, the, the quiz materials are posted in the announcement. So make sure that you check the announcements uh, regularly so you can find um, the course relevant information. So you can do the quizzes, uh, write your assignments, uh, and uh, engage in the weekly discussion. So for this week, we're talking about the types of entrepreneurs. Uh, you can have, uh, you can be a trading entrepreneur, you can be a manufacturing entrepreneur, you can have a business focus on agricultural, you can have a business focus on technical aspect, you can have a private entrepreneurship, you can have a state join, uh, can be men, women, small scale, large scale, uh, whatever, there are so many different types of entrepreneurship, okay? So you can be a buyer, you can be an investor. So these are the different types of entrepreneurs that one person can be. Um, here are the foundations of, of entrepreneurship. An entrepreneur is a person who starts and operates a business. In order to do this, he or she often takes financial risks with hopes of making a profit. And in our discussion, many of you talked about the financial risk. Well, in our everyday life, we often face with risk. 
um, maybe we have a, a, a traffic ticket when we try to go so fast, that's a risk. Um, so in business, you have many risks and some of the risks are uncertain. You don't know when the risk might come, but as an entrepreneur or as a business owner, you have to plan uh, so you can be able to mitigate the risks. Um, planning is essential uh, to avoid uh, uncertainty, to avoid risk, uh, because we cannot avoid risk. Risk will come, but when they come, we have a back of backup plan to to counteract with the risk. The process of creating business ownership by individuals is called entrepreneurship because individuals turn ideas. The ideas, this is the first stage of entrepreneurial process. You turn your idea into marketable products and services. So after you have your idea, you're trying to turn your ideas, which means you're going to develop. Okay, you're going to develop, you're going to make. So in the developing state, you're trying to see, okay, I have an idea. Can I turn my idea into something that someone can use, whether it might be a product or a service? So entrepreneurs are those who manage and operate businesses by using engineering skills with business management skills, such as financial planning, marketing planning, distribution planning, and risk management planning. See, this is so important, so critical in entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurs are organizers who use organizational skills, decision makers who use decision making skills, and communicators who use communication skills. The characteristics of entrepreneurs include desire for responsibility, flexibility, innovation, confidence, willingness to accept risk, and high level of energy. These are just a few characteristics of entrepreneurs, but there are more, like having passion, belief in yourself, having confidence, um, knowledgeable about the products and services, among many others. Entrepreneurship has many advantages. You want to be an entrepreneur because you work for yourself. You may have unlimited income. You are independent. Well, advantages will come with disadvantages, like losing personal income. If you don't have a solid business plan, you might have a rough schedule where you have to work every day. And then of course you will see competition. These are the disadvantages. These are the pitfalls of having your own businesses. But to avoid the pitfalls, you have to have a plan. So how innovative are you? In order to create outstanding product or service, strong brand, and to build your customer network, entrepreneurs need to innovate. You cannot do the same thing every day. So today you make a coffee with milk and sugar. Tomorrow you have to add some spices and to make the, the coffee more flavorful. Then the customers will say, aha, you have something new. Your coffee tastes better than the other competitors. So they will continue to come, not only to come, but they will advertise freely for you. Innovation. This is why Apple, this is why Samsung keep coming out with new products and new services because of the demands for the needs of the products, for the needs of the services. You don't innovate. You're trying to be complacent with what you have offered to the customers, you are not going to, to expand your business. You are not going anywhere. You stay in the same place. And in today's technology and competition, you cannot afford to, be, to stay complacent with what you have done in the past. 
Innovation is the key for the betterment of your services, of your businesses. Then we focus on the business model. Remember, the business model is not a business plan. A business model is basically a description of how you, you as an entrepreneur can make money, all right? The model is not a business plan. It is a part of the business plan. It's describe how you as an entrepreneur go about to make money. So in week one, I posted the same articles, the same article in two different locations. Uh, in week one, under the faculty's note and in the uh, announcement. And I also uh, put in the week one work, okay? So you have three locations of the business models. So a successful business model just needs to collect more money from customer than its cost to make the product. This is your pro profit, simple as that. So it is basically a company's plan to make profit, which is the core objective of our businesses. You have an idea, you want your idea to turn into something uh, that you can take back, which is money, which is your profit. So then how you are going to make your uh, profit based on your idea? Well, you need to have a business model. So your business model can be a direct sales. For example, you might have, you might create products and you sell the product directly to whoever wants to buy your product. All right, so direct sales. Franchising. Franchising like, well, you want to own a McDonald's or you want to own a Wendy's. Well, you need to contact um, the corporations for these businesses and obtain franchising uh, licenses to operate the business with them. Or you want your business to base on just advertising. You advertise for other people's businesses. Or you might focus on a business where you build up the physical location. This is called the brick and mortar. You build up the physical location and you rent out the physical location, okay? Or you might have customization. Well, customization can mean many things. You might have a customization store focused on customizing cars or customizing clothes, customizing shoes. Um, freemium. Freemium can mean, for example, you open a business, maybe a, a, a fast food restaurant. Well, you give everybody a try, a free plate or free dessert or something free. But when the customer sees something is free, they will come and they try something for free. And once they see the benefit of the free item they receive, they end up buying something more. So eventually you make more money by offering something free, but you collect more money at the end, okay? So these are some of the business models that you need to discuss, okay? Um, successful businesses have adopted uh, these models and allow them to fulfill clients' needs uh, with the following characters value propositions, customer segments, channels, customer relationships, revenue stream, resources like financing, key partners, management, and cost structure. So remember, your first written assignment, your first written assignment focuses on um, the business model. So this is where you need to focus on for your first written assignment, where you have to choose three, only three. 
then you write about the three business model. Then you also have to choose one of the three and tell why one of the three business model fit your business concept based on the assignment topic that you were supposed to turn in for week one. Now, for the first written assignment, you need to focus on the following. So make sure that, now, the first written assignment for the next nine weeks, you will be writing a business plan. And the business plan consists of the business model, target market, the startup funds, and your exit strategy. So basically you have four short assignments. Each assignment is one page, four pages written in four different weeks. So by week number nine, you should combine the four assignments as one and submit it. This becomes the business plan, all right? So week one, you only focus on the business model, only the business model. So now, this is just one page. Please do not submit two pages, three pages, only one page. And you need to make sure that you plan for writing. Do not, again, I emphasize, do not go in Google and try to Google a business model and copy and paste. All work will be checked for plagiarism. If your paper have 25% or more matching, I will not grade your paper and you will have to rewrite it. So um, for the first assignment, write about the business model only one page. Remember, the business model have to relate to the topic that you wrote, okay? So again, a business model is a description of how entrepreneurs make money. There are many types of business model. You can use direct sales, franchising, factor, factionalization, leasing, pay as you go, or subscription. Your job is to select three possible, three possible, and write about it. Three possible, write a short description of each. Then choose one of the three models and tell why your business fit this business model, okay? All right, so again, uh, from the approved assignment topic, think of three possible models Write about the three business model that you can use to make profit. Provide the advantages and disadvantages of each model. Then choose one model that really stands out and matches your business concept. Write about this business model and explain why the business model will support your business strategic goals. Trying to give three supporting facts of your choice. Remember, at any time you use a source that does belong to you, you must cite. Remember, if you have a business, you don't want no one copy your business. If somebody wants to use your ideas, they need to have your permission. They need to cite where the source comes from. You have to do the same thing, all right? So right now we are using the Strayer's Writing Standard, or SWS. Make sure that you type, type, double space, using Tom Roman font 12 with one inch margin. Include a cover page. The cover page needs to have the title of the assignment, your name, my name, the course title, and the date. Remember, the cover page is not your assignment. 
So therefore, you write a one-page assignment, including the, the cover page. Therefore, you must submit two pages. If you cite, it needs to be on page three. So in, in the announcement, I have posted the template and the business model sample paper. And you need to do the same thing. Remember, this assignment is an outline. So I don't need for you to write too much. So look at my sample writing. The first part of your writing, see, this is your cover page, which I already provided for you as a template. Then you need to be able to provide my next outline. The first paragraph, you need to talk about what is your business, okay? And then identify the three models that you will use. And then you try to give me what the model is about and the disadvantages or the advantages. And then at the end here, you need to tell me, all right, from these three business models, which one you will use? Well, for my business, I decide to use pay as you go and I give details why my business use this business model to generate ve revenues for my business. So, okay. So remember, writing is nothing magical about it, but it can be magical only if you plan for writing. You cannot just sit and expect a, ma a masterpiece. You have to plan for writing. You have to think about the three business models. Identify the advantages and the disadvantages. Okay? All right, so hopefully um, you have um, a quick understanding of what you need to do moving forward. Remember, um, in order to be successful as entrepreneurs or business owners, you have to plan, but you cannot just plan. You have to execute your plan. And when you execute your plan, you have to understand you have to have deadlines. And if, if entrepreneurs are procrastinators, they will fall behind and their business will fail. Well, it's the same thing for you. Do not wait until the last minute and trying to do something you will not have a good paper. I can guarantee you that. So by all means, stay proactive, do all that you can, and I believe that you can. I'm here to support you. I'm just an email, a text, or a phone call away. So by any means necessary, contact me if you need academic support. This is Dr. Nguyen from Australian University, Business 313, intro, um, Introduction to Entrepreneurship.